Hey, Tommy Gentleman here, helping business owners reduce stress and overwhelm. This video is aimed at people who have a business that has some kind of shop floor. Whatever your business is, you have people coming to you to browse, to look at things, and to hopefully buy something. This video is very, very much for you. What it's gonna do is it's gonna help you by giving you a checklist of things that you should have in place to help optimize not only customer experience in a real powerful and positive way, but ultimately to optimize income, right? I help business owners reduce stress and overwhelm by increasing profit and getting their time back out of their business. And this checklist here could be a real game changer for you. Even if you just implement one of these things that you aren't already doing, because I'm sure you are already on top of this, but there might just be one thing that you're not doing and upon implementation may just help you with your margins and may just help make things a little bit easier for you. So let's get into the list. First of all, we have a greeting script. Do you have a script that you use every time somebody walks into your shop or your establishment? You know, that means do you have a game plan? Are your staff following that script? Now really, what needs to happen is a greeting script needs to encourage the customer to feel safe. Something like this. Um, I just wanna let you know, if there's anything that I can do to help, please come and speak to me, I'll be right over here. Which is a very, very safe way of playing it, but an even more effective way would be, hi, well, my name's Tommy, thanks for coming in today, what can I help you with? If you're brave enough, do that, because that will have the most amount of impact because it's a, question that is open and that will help you gather information about the person who's just walked into the shop. You know, that was the first thing, like a greeting script. By the way, if you think I can help you in any way, if you've got questions for me, then either comment on the video or go to www.calltommyg.com because we'll be able to have a, a conversation and a chat there. So the second thing that needs to be in place if you're a shop floor um, business owner is there needs to be upsell strategy. So when someone actually comes and purchases something, um, while they're at the till, there needs to be an upsell strategy. An upsell strategy could be recognizing what it is that they've bought and being intelligent about what else they could buy to complement what they've just bought. For example, if it's a clothing store and somebody's just bought some jeans, then if you know of an offer that they that is in store right now on jeans or on shoes or on underwear or on shirts, then let the person know while they're buying that, um, hey, what did you think of the offer that we have on underwear? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, we've got this offer at the moment. It's buy a pair of jeans and you get 10% off of the underwear. How interested are you? That's an upsell with a great amount of power because it's not, would you like to buy some underwear? No, no, I'm good, right? It's actually a high quality conversation which allows you to help the person using great questions. This is how we increase our profit margins and our customer experience at the same time. There are other ways to do upsell. You can have like small, smaller price point upsells, two, three pounds versus, you know, the 20, 30 pound uh, item of clothing, which would be about a 10% drop for the upsell. And you could do that on mass, or you could go for like the upper end upsell. Hey, um, what we do for a lot of uh, people who come into the store and buy jeans is we actually tell you about our tailored suit service. Now, I know you came in to buy jeans today. Next time you wanna buy a suit, here's my card, right? Which satisfies something else, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. Call me, because we'll take you through this service where we'll measure you, we'll give you the best possible service, and we'll make sure you get looked after and get a great suit. Because that upsell, which is now more likely to happen because you've made it possible, is worth hundreds, right? So now we're increasing profit over time with the same customer, which is very important for the longevity of the business and to have that repeat business as well. Right, the next thing that we need to make sure we're doing is having some way that we can gather contact information from our customers, right? So regular competitions, um, ways that they can get special offers. You could say to them, while you're here, we've got this promotion at the moment, it's 10% off the next time you come in, and all you gotta do is text this number, here it is. And by texting the number, 
it gives you their number and it gives you permission to then text market them on various offers and promotions that you have going on. Um, you can do it through community as well, like, hey, how much do you know about our community newsletter? On the newsletter, we do regular advice on like this, that, and the other, based on the products you sell. And we do promotions and giveaways, but you have to be on the list to get it. Here's the information, sign up there, right? But some way to gather contact information so that you can then market to them. We have to then be able to send out repeat promotions. 10%, half prices, buy one, get one freeze, that kind of thing. We have to be able to send repeat promotions. That will help bring more custom, more business, more sales in, increase revenue, and using the contact information that we've obviously started to build from the customer base that we already have, right? The next thing that we need to have is people leaving with, I'm gonna call it gump, right? It's a bit of a weird word. If you don't know what that means, it means just things, right? Gump, okay? So people need to leave with gump, otherwise known as leaflets, propaganda, handouts, information sheets, referral cards, whatever. They need to leave with things in their hand because that then goes home, it gets seen again, it gets seen by their friends who come around their house, it gets seen by their partner, it's got more chance of escalating into a future sale, either from them or someone that they know. Which leads me on to the next point, which there needs to be a referral strategy. Referrals are huge for any business, right? So some kind of referral strategy that can allow them to bring somebody else to you who would also benefit from the same thing that you've given them, right? Because that's all it is. Who else do you know that would benefit or like to have this thing that you've just had? This person. Ah, oh, great. Well, tell you what, go and give this to that person. When they come in, they'll have 10% off their first purchase or whatever it is that you wanna give them, right? Obviously making sure that's within your margins. But referrals are so, so important. And if you just want help on like any of this and you're not sure on the language to use or how to train your team like to do this stuff, then send me a message, I'll be happy to help, get on the phone with you, or go to calltommyg.com. Lastly, we need some kind of scheduling for future sale, right? So imagine you're working in, could be in a, um, a car showroom, somebody comes in and they buy a car. Great. It doesn't end there though, because we can schedule them in. We can actually book them because this is whatever, whatever business you're in is going to be a competitive market. We can actually book them in for their next preview or test drive of their next car, or we can book them in for their service, which then keeps them in the loop, right? By the way, when they come in for their service, there'll be upsell opportunities for them to buy something for their car, accessories, that kind of thing. Um, new insurance plans, new care plans, that kind of thing needs to be there um, because it keeps the whole thing alive, right? So booking that in would take away the need to have to go and try and book them in in the future. You would only need to then remind them of their appointment and phone them up and follow up with them to make sure that they are coming, right? That's it. It helps you have the upper hand in the choice buying mindset of the person when that time comes back around. So scheduling for future sale and making sure that if they cancel or if they don't show or whatever, that not only the reminders are there, but somebody's there following up on that, making sure they're looked after and caring for the customer. That human being is worth more revenue to you and knows many more people that would also probably benefit from your services. Thank you for watching this video. If there's anything I can do to help you, please reach out, send me a message, or go to www.calltommyg.com. Thanks for watching.